左，把我死不扛不扛不扛。You guys, I'm almost running late. In fact, I'm the one delaying right now. We are going for... Is this place Epoe? Please don't mind it. We are going for boat cruise. Yeah, we're going for a tour of the boat. And it's supposed to be by 11 o'clock. And it's currently 10.45, I think. So I'm just the one left because everyone is ready. Just me. because you know it's a boat ride and the breeze and everything I didn't want my hair to scatter too much so this is the final look this is what I am putting on and shoes yeah guys can see how I'm sweating here it's beginning to be very hot because the heater is on so yeah guys let's keep going because I'm keeping everybody waiting so let's go in um, the perfume I'm going to be using is this one and yeah We are going in. There on the left, right? You see two motors used to close this construction. We are this going in. But this device. is fine, though. Okay, it's not fine again. They are made after Second World War. After the Second World War? No. In time, they didn't have technology, so they placed dynamite in the field and collected. This island here, Mamula, and there on Croatia Coast Town. So, this was three points for entering Bay. Nobody can enter without these guys knowing. If they have cannons, Go. ships pass, everybody must come and say, We are coming. Oh, 
all popular blue face. But not LZ, why do people swim here? Then? Exactly. Know that I cannot even see this thing, but that's fine. So we are done with the boat cruise, and now we are trying to look for somewhere to eat because we are all hungry, 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 hungry. We are all hungry. So yeah, yeah, that thing was so nice, but it was many small shops I would have fallen off because the boat was bouncing. Back up, back up, back up. <laughs> so it means I would have fallen off, but you have to hold onto like the rails. That you will not fall. So yeah, the time is like three o'clock, so minutes to three sharp. So yeah, um, hopefully we see something else to eat that is not pasta or pizza, like we've been eating for the past few days. So pray for us. So yeah. Good advice. Uh, yes. Hi guys, so uh, we are back from lunch and the boat cruise and guys I just want to say something anybody that is coming to this country just ignore anything rice like don't order rice because guys I've tried rice now in three different restaurants and I did not like it like it just play white rice so and I did not like it at all I think there's the way they cook their white rice which is not good like it's not like it's not good but I never had rice like that before and I just not like the way it tastes. So yeah, if you are coming to this country, just try out other things apart from rice. Um, I had spaghetti bolognese again today. Guys, I've been eating that thing since I came here. <laughs> God help my tummy. I've been eating that since I came here. 
Um, but the thing that the spaghetti is actually really nice. Like the pasta is actually good. So that's what I had again this afternoon. Right now we just want to rest because I'm so tired. So maybe just have like a little siesta, then go out this evening to look for food and maybe walk around and see what's you know around. Yeah, that's basically it. The boat school was actually really nice, even though the weather was getting kind of cold when we were on the boat but it was not bad and there are so many beautiful places and history alongside with it like this place is really really beautiful and yeah so i've just taken off my wig and i'm just trying to go through my phone and see the pictures we took and then trying to delete anyone that is not fine <laughs> so yeah that's it i just wanted to give you guys like a quick update on my, the situation on ground so yeah um, i'll be speaking with you guys later on bye Exactly. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, welcome to another day here in Montenegro. Guys, we're currently on our way out. The time is like 11 o'clock and it's that time of the month guys but the thing is i'm not going to allow that to you know interrupt this vacation <laughs> i have swallowed all my pills this morning like all my cramp pills and hopefully it does not affect me when we are out but yeah and we are currently on our way to the old village in kotor yes that's where we are going to and this is like the outfit for today just black on black and shoes and then i'm going to grab like my black bag yeah, that's basically it, guys. We've had breakfast already. And I don't want to do my makeup because, guys, I never do my makeup today because I'm just not in the mood for makeup. So I did not do my makeup today. And yeah, that's basically everything. Just wanted to give like a quick intro of today. I think today is, what day is this? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Today is day four. Yes, today is day four. And it is really sunny outside. Like, can you see how sunny it is? Like it is so sunny. UK can never. Like the weather is so sunny and beautiful. And then that's the sea down there. I think they haven't doing some construction work. But yeah. Um, I'm definitely taking you guys along with me today. And yeah. Let's go and see the city. Go for some sightseeing. And yeah. Bye. So we are currently at um, Kotor, the old town. That's where we are. And we just want to enter and see what they have. So, yeah. choose between this bag I hope you guys can see this one and then this one I actually like these bags like between these two which one do you guys think I'm going more for this one actually I'm going more for this one because I like this one I don't know maybe because purple is like my favorite color and there's purple on it but yeah I prefer this one this is how it looks I mean can use it to travel and do so many other things or this. oh this one nah i prefer the black what do you guys think so i'm asking what you could think as if when i'm posting this video i've not already bought the bag so i think i'm going with this one yeah i'm going with this one so then i'm also going to be taking this one for my friend yeah because i love this one 
actually so i'm taking this one because it's actually very cute so yeah this one i'm taking for her so guys their bag is actually really nice so i think that i'm done from this store these are like the things i like so let's go and see other places I'm done. Okay. I want to begin the same song again. As well as after they get done. guys so i'm finally back to the hotel and i ordered i got cake when i was coming back i showed you guys the video so i got cake i already eaten some of it because that sushi was actually very filling so i just had some to just taste it and see how it is um guys so we're leaving tomorrow which is so sad because you guys anytime i'm going back to the uk i'm not i'm never happy but we're leaving tomorrow um so uh what's it called Montenegro has been so so good. So if you're an international student or if you have like the UK BRP, you can definitely travel to Montenegro visa free. All you have to do is to make sure you have your BRP with you and your passport. So if you're like a Nigerian passport holder, you can travel to the to Montenegro with just your BRP and your passport. Then um Montenegro is actually affordable, it's not on the pricey side. They are accommodate their hotels are not that pricey and when it comes to flights for flights i paid about 70 something pounds when i was coming like return ticket i paid about 70 something pounds and that was because i had like carry-on bag because when you're using flights like easyjet and Ryanair, air you pay for your carry-on bag or your check-in bag so i paid for my carry-on bag normally that flight was about let's say 50 something if not 40 something without the carry-on bag yes if not less than less than way less than that so yes um if you're not if you're just going to carry like a school bag or a small bag that you don't need to properly carry it on i don't know how to put it but maybe if you don't have a bag that has wheels on it you can definitely get away with not paying for carry-on bag but i paid for carry-on bag that's why my flights my return ticket was about seven something pounds then the food here is actually very cheap like you can see food for as low as six seven euro and when you convert that to pounds that's like five pounds so you can see their food is actually very cheap and then transportation is there there's just, it depends on where you're going to give it it depends on where you're going to it can be expensive it can not be expensive so it just depends on where you're going to um that one varies and yeah i think that that's like the main thing that has to do with this whole thing if you're coming to montenegro you can use like 400 500 pounds for a good holiday and you're good to go that money will cover like your flights your hotel your transport your feeding and all of that so yeah yeah i think that's it um right now i just want to rest because i'm actually very tired i just want to rest and then you know go through social media 
I'll probably watch a movie. Yeah, I want to watch a movie right now. That's what I want to do. Yeah. And then, because it's currently 4.42. Also, Montenegro has the same time with Nigeria. So, right now it's 4.42 and it's 4.42 in Nigeria. But, it's like, they're one hour ahead of the UK. So, in the UK now, it's going to be like 3.42. So, yeah. Um, I just want to sleep, guys. I'm so tired. I just want to rest. And when we go out at night to look for food, I'll definitely film the meal we have this night. I don't know if I'm going to go out and eat this night. I don't know. But, yeah. Our flight tomorrow is by... 10 yes to 11 yes our flight is by 2 11 and yeah that's basically it guys i really hope you guys have been enjoying this vlog please don't forget to like comment subscribe share this video and i'll be seeing you guys when next i have something else to film yes i really hope i have something next to film but i'll be seeing you guys later bye hey guys what's good um it's currently eight o'clock i'll be some minutes past eight and we're on our way to have dinner guys i do not feel like wearing my wig so i just took it off because i've been sleeping so i just took off my wig i'm not wearing a wig to go out then i just put on like earrings so i don't look like somebody that is suffering <laughs> then i'm still putting on what i wore throughout the day to go for dinner and yeah that's basically it hopefully we find something nice to have this evening fingers crossed and yeah Thank you. I never knew what you don't give me.